Okay, so today we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be making a 3D lampshade nightlight that looks like a raccoon with the 3D printer. And what I do is I go to lithophanemaker.com and you just click on their website. And then they have lots of different options, but tonight we're making the nightlight. So I uh, found the nightlight. It's right up on top. Click on that and you simply bring in your file which I usually save as a JPEG and that file is just going to be the image of the raccoon this is going to be a present for my niece she's having a baby and uh, they have a woodlands theme in the baby's room so this is going to be a nightlight theme for my niece and there's our image right there you can crop it a little bit this is open source you can just put in any type of email that you want and you want to create a dot stl that's the type of file that you're creating so what that does is that will generate uh, an stl file and uh, you'll save it on your computer and you'll see it up there in the blue area and you simply double click that and what that will do is that will start the slicing pro uh, program called cura that's also uh, open source. You can download that for free at uh, Ultimator, Ultimaker Cura. Uh, just do a Google on that and find it. Okay, so that STL file uh, was imported into Cura, and this is a slicing program. So we need to actually tell our 3D printer how we want this thing printed. We could reduce the size and different shape and stuff like that, but we're just gonna print in standard quality right here. And I like to print a little warmer, which I'm gonna make it 210 degrees on the bed, which is the surface area, and 70 degrees Fahrenheit for the printing uh, at the nozzle. And then you have your options for putting a base down. And I like to use the raft. It does use a little extra material, but it's a nice solid base. So you'll see it's called slicing. And what's that, what that's doing is it's taking the STL file with your instructions for the 3D printer, and it's turning or slicing that into what's called a G code. It's the dot G C O D E. And from there, you simply save and send the instructions over to the 3D printer. And then we're going to get started printing. It's pretty cool. So the print is done and it just pops off after the bed cools that's what it looks like there let's hold it up to the this is going to be a night light so let's hold it up to you can see on the bottom here that's the raft that's the part that actually holds it on the base of the 3d printer when it's going back and forth it just pops right off when it gets cold so that 3d printer it melts plastic and other types of materials, but plastic for the lack of a better word. And it literally just creates thousands and thousands of different layers. Uh, and you know I, what you do on these lithophanes for the night lights is you just slide any common night light um, that you can get, you know, for a couple bucks in the back in that little uh, hole there, the little slot, and turns on. Look at that! Look how cool that is. The light makes it. I don't know, transparent sorta, but it's not, it's opaque. Uh, it does a really nice job, provides a really good, um, you know, general light and stuff. So this is gonna be in the baby's room. Um, so, uh, you know, that'll, that'll be really cool. I think they'll appreciate this gift. But 
the uh, incandescent bulbs tend to work the best. Those LED new nightlights, they don't really work the greatest. And I think it's really great. I think they're going to like this uh, little raccoon in their woodland theme for the baby room. But you can do this with anything, any picture. This one happens to be Keith Morrison from Dateline NBC. My wife is a big fan, so I made it for her as a gag gift. There's that LED. doesn't work quite as well. So, hey, thanks for watching the video. Please hit like and subscribe. It really helps out with uh, what we're trying to do here on YouTube. Have a great night. Thanks.